What's up you guys welcome back to the channel all you new subscribers i'm bar boss today's the day that we're gonna lay the primer sealer on the civic i had my nephew come over and do all these little graphics on the paper he went ahead and just scribbled some stuff on here but either way um we are supposed to have a garage sale tomorrow and we already got some of the stuff right here that we're planning on selling. And I'm gonna have to take all this stuff back inside. Another thing is I wasn't supposed to get my mask until Monday, today is Thursday. So therefore, it kinda screwed everything up, but at the same time, it didn't. Either way, I got my mask today and I'm gonna go ahead, get this car in the middle of the garage. Before I do that, I'm gonna push it out, I'm gonna clean this whole garage out, and then I'm gonna go ahead, put the car in the middle, and we will be ready to lay some paint. So another thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is, um, you guys know I moved here a few months ago, and I never noticed this, but apparently, if you guys see that light that's over there, where the railroad tracks are on the other side of that it's mexico on saturday nights so once we cross the border right there we go over the tracks on saturdays um there is a lot of vehicles racing back there and they'll race from like way up there so once you get to the other side of these houses in the back side of the track they'll race from way up there all the way down to here and i never really noticed because i know that there's like three or four performance shops on the other side of the tracks there's one for that modifies like jeeps there's one for motorcycles these are all like like shops but they're pretty big shops then there's one for imports they have a dyno there and then there's one for like muscle cars and they also have a dyno at that shop but i thought it was just them messing around with their cars until this saturday they went by that i really see what was really going on back there so i'm gonna try to take you guys over there hopefully this saturday and see if we get some footage of some races so with this all being said let's just go ahead and get started on this
we're going to go ahead and start wiping everything that's going to be painted with mineral spirits just to make sure that there's nothing on there and then I'm going to go ahead after this all evaporates I'm going to go ahead and run a tack cloth right through it. I got the whole thing clean and now I'm just waiting for it to evaporate. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and set up my Harbor Freight gun that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using this right here. $15 gun without the coupon, with the coupon. You probably get it for like 12 or 13 bucks. Sometimes even 10 bucks. This is a 1.4 and I'm going to be using this to lay primer. This is the stuff we're going to be laying. And it's going to be mixed with this right here. I got my gun ready. I went ahead and I hooked up this thing down here. And this right here, I put Teflon tape on both of those. And I went ahead and I ran some paint thinner through it so it's ready to go. This right here is going to be mixed 4 to 1. And I'm going to go ahead and lay some water on the floor and then we'll go ahead and get started. This is going to stop any dust particles and also it's going to protect the floor from any overspray. We're going to go ahead, mix this guy up, and then we're going to pour it into here. Remember, it's going to be four to one. So I'm going to follow this right here, this chart that says four to one. And the first number is going to be for this paint. The second number is going to be for this guy. So like I said, let's say that I stop at four right here, four red. That's a four to one, four red, then I'm gonna start at four blue with the other one. I'm gonna top it off to the four blue. So you guys see that I went a little bit over on the four. So I'm gonna go a little bit over on the four. Or actually, hold on, that's the wrong one. All right, so I went a little bit over on the four right here. So then I'm gonna go a little bit over onto the blue four right here. right there I'm gonna go ahead and mix it and put a filter on my gun on the top and pour it in over the filter all right I don't think you guys could really hear me so I'm just gonna go ahead set up the pattern on the gun and then we'll start laying paint
first coat of primer is down. So the primer sealer is completely down. My camera died, so I threw the battery pack on the charger. But either way, um, it's still drying. This door is kind of dry already. You sort of see where it's not dry. It's looking pretty good. I'm really liking, I actually like how this looks right now. Um, once it completely dries, it'll probably look really good, but uh, I'm not gonna keep this color. This is just the primer sealer. I'm gonna go ahead, pull the car forward a little bit, and then reverse it into the spot over there, up against the wall, and just let it dry. Um, and we'll come back and take a look again, see what it looks like. So it's been around six hours already, and the car is completely dry. I didn't put a second coat on the roof, and I could definitely see it right now. Um, I'm gonna show you guys, but before we do that, please hit the like button. Um, the like button is very important because it helps the channel grow. Smash that like button for me, por favor. And let me show you guys. Oh, you could definitely see that ding right here. But either way, the texture on here, it kind of feels exactly how the silver felt. So we are going to let this cure for three days. So right now we have an open window of three days, actually. In that open window of three days, we can lay our base coat. If we don't lay that base coat in the next three days, we're going to have to scuff the whole thing down, which I am planning on doing because of how it feels. But not only that, I had told you guys that I wanted to sand with 600 and then I wanted to step it up to 800 kind of how i did with the engine bay when i sprayed it so i want to do the same thing with this and we are going to wait three days and in the next three days we'll start scuffing it i still have to do the fenders i still have to do the front bumper the hood gotta sand it and i gotta lay the coats on there but you guys can see how glossy the engine bay looks And I don't know if I mentioned this, but this is 2K primer. So it's supposed to be pretty good stuff. Let me show you the, the roof. You could definitely tell that it needed a second coat. But I completely ran out of that little quart that I had of paint. I used up the whole thing. So I'm going to have to order another one so I could do the rest of the other panels which is probably what we're gonna be doing next week. We're gonna be sanding, scuffing everything, getting everything ready for primer on those parts. And also, we're gonna hit this with the 600 and the 800. And this thing will be ready for paint. If you guys made it all the way this far into the video, please go down below and type in hashtag VTech. That way, I'll know who really watched the video. Either way, this is going to be the end of this. If you have any questions or anything, comment it down below. Let me know, and I'll try to help you the best that I can. But with this being said, and being so dark in, in here, I'll catch you guys on my next video. Thank you for watching. Smash that like button, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.
life, y'all. Yeah. Make sure they hit that subscribe button.